first of all, a Lewy body dementia is a disease that we haven't known for that many years, maybe only for the last uh, 15 or 20 years. And the prodromal phase of the disease, which of course we know there is a, a prodromal dementia stage or a, a prodromal phase before the patient progresses to dementia for all the neurodegenerative di disorders. We know very little about this phase in the Lewy body, in Lewy body dementia. Um, recently there were uh, diagnostic criteria uh, suggested for this prodromal um, disorder uh, in which three subtypes uh, were uh, suggested to exist, a cognitive subtype, a neuropsych or a psychiatric subtype and a delirium onset subtype. So kind of, kind of a, an idea that um, the prodromal phase of Lewy body dementia could be um, characterized or dominated by, by these three clusters of symptoms. And we did a study where we decided to find out whether we could uh, substantiate this, um, proposed, uh, these proposed subtitle, subtypes because we, we lack um, data from, from, uh, from other studies um, informing us uh, of, of the prodromal phase. We, we do have some, but we need more studies. So what we did in, in, uh, in my center was to um, uh, identify uh, all the patients we had diagnosed within a, a period of four years with uh, Lewy body dementia and then we matched it uh, matched them with a group of patients with Alzheimer's disease and we went and that was about 160 patients in each group and we went retrospectively through their case uh, files to look for these prodromal symptoms so psychiatric symptoms delirium uh, cognitive symptoms, but also other symptoms we know are associated with Lewy body dementia, such as uh, REM sleep behavior disorder, anosmia, uh, motor symptoms. And what we found was that indeed a, a large proportion of patients, about a third, um, 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 had as the, their first prodromal symptom cognitive impairment. However, this was also true for patients with Alzheimer's disease. Of course, that, that goes without saying. This is primarily uh, a disease where we see either cognitive symptoms or psychiatric symptoms, so perhaps not a big surprise. We found a smaller uh, degree of patients who had uh, primarily psychiatric symptoms and only a very small symptom, a, a group of patients who had uh, delirium or acute uh, confusional episodes as their first symptoms. We went through the whole prodromal phase of these patients and we found that there's a clear tendency that patients with uh, Lewy body dementia in the prodromal phase have a lot of symptoms, a lot of non-cognitive symptoms as well. A lot of them have uh, psychiatric symptoms, uh, especially delusions and uh, hallucinations. Uh, we also found that um, indeed the prevalence of delirium or acute on, uh, confusional uh, episodes is higher in patients with Lewy body dementia compared to Alzheimer's disease and we also found that um, that it was more common that they had more episodes of delirium or, or confusion. Lastly we also found that patients who uh, as their first symptoms had either anosmia or REM sleep behavior disorder had a very long prodromal phase up to a mean of around 10 uh, to 15 years. I think it will help us to better identify these patients very early on. And as we know from Alzheimer's disease, um, the, the, general, or the general idea is that, that, that it's probably going to be more effective to treat very early on. So I think this is going to, to help us really identify and to be aware of the fact that if we have patients who have repeated episodes of delirium, we have to consider this disease. We might also see um, anosmia or uh, REM sleep behavior as a type of prodromal Lewy body dementia. And maybe we have to treat very early on uh, with, with, with the therapies, for example, directed at alpha synuclein for patients with the REM sleep behavior disorder to prevent them to progress to dementia. I'd also say that we know from studies that patients with Lewy body dementia use um, many more healthcare resources before their diagnosis compared to, for example, Alzheimer's disease, about twice as many. And I think this really goes to show that patients with Lewy body dementia have a lot of symptoms, a lot of symptoms that are very uh, detrimental to their um, uh, quality of life, that they actually seek out uh, medical professions to get help for. Um, and I think we need to be better at, at, um, at addressing these, uh, these needs and, and, in the, in the, in, and, and understanding that these patients have Lewy body dementia 
uh, at an earlier stage because I think we'll be able to help them better with the, with the, the symptoms that they do have.